Profiles is one of my favorite features of VS Code. And I use this feature for defining the different ways that I want VS Code to work depending on my mood. Like here, I have four profiles. I have the default profile, the I do profile, videos H and videos V. Currently, I'm using videos H. And this is the profile that I use when I want to make videos on a horizontal screen, like for YouTube. And for videos V, this is for vertical mode, like for Instagram, TikTok. Let's go to the default profile. If I'm writing code, this is the profile that I would usually use. If you hover on the print name, you see the definition for print name. Hover on app, you see the definition for app. Come here, you can also see the breadcrumbs src app.gsx slash app. Sometimes I would also have the status bar at the bottom. So if I go to view appearance, sometimes I'd have the status bar at the bottom and sometimes I don't, but this is the default. But then there are some times where I'm writing maybe articles in a markdown file and I don't want all of these distractions where I hover on something and then VS Code is is like hey this is what this means i hover on this and vs code is like hey this is what this means there's a lot of distractions for me so when i want to write articles or sometimes just write simple code and i don't want all these suggestions intelligence pop-ups two tips whatever i would come to my i do profile in this i do profile in the settings i have changed different things so that way i don't have all those distraction so currently if i hover on print name nothing happens if i type local storage it doesn't like throw all those pop-ups in the way and this way i can do what i want to do without all those distractions if we should go back to the default profile if i try to type local storage vs code is like hey this is what you're trying to type yes thank you vs code but i don't want that distraction then i have the videos h profile i use this when making videos for youtube and also all those distractions like pop-ups hover suggestions all those things do not happen but if i type local storage this still comes up and that's because when i'm making videos i don't want to have to think of everything by myself so i let this one on but for the hover one i turn the hover one off so that if i'm making videos and i'm hovering on things i don't want things like popping on the screen and distracting people also i turned off the line numbers here just for some space i also removed the breadcrumbs the status bar is not here i would also remove this activity bar i have a shortcut for that so i have more space to do what i want to do when I am teaching and there are a lot more other things I turn off but this is just to give you an idea of the things you can turn off and I have videos V which is pretty much like videos H the only difference is that I made it zoom out a bit so that way if I'm making videos on a vertical screen usually I would reduce the screen size to something like this I would remove this file explorer and the activity bar so this is kind of the perfect zoom that I have found for my vertical video so that people can still see what I am typing um, but in this case I'm making a video videos h so i'm going to come here to videos h and like i said you can change different things so if you're somebody who probably does teaching you write articles in vs code you write code whatever you can configure your vs code to help you in all those ways you come to profile here you can create a new profile you can copy settings from a previous profile so i can create a new profile and copy all the settings from videos h i can say copy all the keyboard shortcuts all of these things or i can say just the settings and after configuring all of that if i am in videos h any settings that i change now is going to be applied to video h so if i say in video h i don't want the files to auto save i turn that off now if i go here if i type this now you can see that i have to press command s to actually save but if i go to my default and i do anything it auto saves after the default delay this is vs code profiles for you you can check out the docs for many more ways you can configure your profiles but uh, i hope this video gives you an idea of how profiles can be useful